Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Solutions team. I am Sanjay. In this video session, we will discuss about that how can we make our custom customization control of adding customized color control. This is our part 9th of this video session series. In our past video sessions from part 1 to 8, we have seen so many customizing tool which we have made so far. Just go to your browser, just click on visit site. If you click on customize, just click on custom theme settings. These are the tools guys that we have made so far in this video session series where we have discussed about the intertitle section, description section as well as we have seen that how can we upload images and also we have seen that if we want to make permission to like if either these all changes will reflect to our front end then also we can set the permission level also we have seen that how can we actually save the pages sections at front end so these are the tools that we have made so far as our custom settings to administrator if you are wondering about that what is the basic purpose of these custom settings to our theme so i will tell you guys suppose you are a developer and you are giving a project to a client then if the client wants to change something to his website then if he doesn't know any type of coding then how can he actually change change his website so by the help of these customizations if we will provide him then he can definitely changes his settings according to these changes so this is the important benefit for them that how can we make our custom theme of customizing tool for him so just go to our file this is functions.php file guys that where we have coded about the custom theme settings as you can see where we have made the method here is the section we have registered and these all settings that we have made under this section so all these settings as you can see curl control pages control image control text area as well as title area these all settings are actually registered under this section okay now we are going to make another setting in this section area that is called WP customize color control where we can pick our custom color and according to that color if you want to change the color of button color of images color of text then by the help of that tool we will implement in easy, easy step so let's make that first we need to register the settings field just copy of that what we did in last video session just make copy of that paste it here just i need to change the settings id here suppose like custom theme and its color setting for now so this is the id that we have passed for color control now we have to add control for that just copy this wp customize object paste it here and add add control method where we have to pass object of WP customize color control it should take the first parameter as the class of WP customize color control now in this class we have to pass some parameters of its default constructor the first parameter is to take is the object of WP customize just we need to copy of that and pass as its first argument Second, we should to pass about the ID of this custom color control. Let's give an ID for that. I am writing link color as its ID and in the third argument, we have to pass about its settings. Suppose, what should we like to give its label name? Suppose, we would like to give label name as select color for button. Okay and in the second parameter we need to pass about the section where we would like to register this control and the section should be we would like to make register of this custom color and to under this section area just copy of that 
and paste it here in the third section we need to pass about the setting means where we should actually save the value of this custom color control so this is the setting where we save the value of that just write settings and here is our setting so all we have done now we have registered our setting field also we have added our control by using WP customize color control where we have passed some parameters first WP customize itself as an object second the idea of this control and the third parameters which actually tells what level should be and what is the basic needs that is sections and settings let's save your file go to browser and refresh this page just click on that scroll down as we can see guys here the control is appearing now select colorful button it's the label name that we have specified here as you have remembered that here is the label section okay so just click on that as you can see it provided us a color control to choose our color as you can see by dragging this circle icon as you can see the color code actually changes just drag it to here here is the color code only we need to update this color to our front end okay guys so just scroll down to your theme as you can see here is the button as you can see contact to online web tutor OWT suppose we want to change this color code to this button icon means we want that when we actually drag this circle icon then this color should be the color which we want to be button okay just go to your theme and this is the theme file and where is the button let us find that so here is the button as you can see connect to a w2 so we want that we need to change the background color of button background color and we need to pass the color which we will get about the dragging of this icon and this is the hexadecimal code so this is the hex code actually we want to make it as a brown background color for this button so just implement your php tag here is echo get the mode and only we need to pass the settings id of that control so here is the settings id just copy of that and paste it here all we have done now so this is the background color actually which will reflect the background to this button and this is the setting where actually we will save our controls color just save this file go to browser and refresh this page just we want to release this section click on that just scroll down to our button as you can see guys the default color actually has chosen and the button is now appearing just click on that now let's make another color for that if you are drawing to the this blue section as you can see our background color of this button actually has changed so let's drag to another color let's make some darker to brighter and here is the color that we have reflected to this background so this is how the use of guys actually the WP customized color control to reflect the custom color pickle for users to pick their color and reflect to its front end section so by the, the help of this tool if you would like to make suppose if you want to change the color of this text which we have written to this button then we can also change so just go to your functions of PHP file just make copy of that and paste it here 
suppose we want that we will provide the color to the text field suppose I have changed the ID to custom theme color text setting we need to pass something like this text okay and just give this I set settings ID to the settings and paste it here all we need to do that just go to your theme file we need to change this color also so just add attribute here color is something like that echo get theme mode and here is the settings ID of that control just copy of that and paste it here all be done just go to browser and refresh this page click on this section scroll down to our button select color for text ok we have actually did actually a small mistake to that let me check code first so just uh, this is our actually button control setting where we have given the idea of that and the same idea actually guys we have passed for this control also let me change that link color it's text color okay so just we need to separate the idea of both controls as different so just save your file go to browser and refresh this page just click on this section spawned all to in front end and here is the button as you can see now suppose I am changing the color of button something like that let me drag to like blue here I have changed the color of this button let me change the color of text we would like to color something like this okay no it's not looking good okay now this is the button guys as we have changed the text color also and we have also changed the background color of this button so this is how a easy tool guys which actually provides flexibility to user to change its background colors by choosing color from here so this is the tool that we have provided we have made two different tools for picking either background color of this button or if he wants to change the text color then also he should pick this color from there so this is the easy tool that we have made so far let's I summarize what we have read actually so far first you need to make settings field where we actually save our color code this is the setting guys which actually stores the value of color and this is the settings control which actually provides the user interface as you can see in this add control method we need to pass WP customize color control class in this class we need to pass three different parameters for its controller first we need to pass itself WP customize as an object second it should be the ID ID of this control and third parameter in which we have to pass about this level about the section area where we are going to register this control and the settings field by registering this field all you have to do that on the front end section you need to call by the method get theme mode and this is the settings ID where which we have saved the color value all we have to access that value to our front end and just we have to put into the CSS file we would like to change the color so this is the easy tool that guys that we have provided to WP custom theme which actually provides the flexibility to users to change their front-end section without doing any code so I think guys I have much, made much more clear concept about WP customized color control in next video session we will learn about that how can we actually register our own navigation menu to the WP nav bar as you can see when we hover over new then you can see four different sections will appear like post media page and user so by which process actually we will register our custom setting in this WP admin area 
we will see in the next video session about this topic so guys if you like this video session then don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel and also if you are a lover of wordpress technologies then you can find several resources on online web tutor channel where i have provided all types of customizations in wordpress like plugin customizations theme and many more resources if you could find to our youtube channel so guys i hope you like this video session so for this video session thank you for watching have a great day